Papa John Day 161. Oh, slept great last night. Apparently something big came through the uh, campsite. Might have been a moose. They said it went right by my tent. I was sleeping. I mean, it'd have to be pretty darn loud to wake me up. But as you can see, down jacket. It's cool this morning. Heading to the privy. So you think it was Bigfoot that came by my tent? It was big. It was like, because I heard people on the privy last night, so you could hear they walk like this. It was walking like this. And it was going. Bigfoot came by here. Sasquatch. <laughs> nah, it had to be a moose. I, I was concerned because it hesitated right here, so I was concerned it was coming for my food. Not like being a tough guy, but I was either going to get away or try to scare it away, but then it, it just kept going. Yeah. Huh. Oh, well. Didn't wake me up. I was sleeping. I think it went right by your tent. <laughs> Privies are usually located a little bit away from where you're sleeping and stuff. And there she is. That's where the old privy was. They move them around because they because they fill up, as you can imagine. This one looks uh, this one looks like it was recently moved because it's got a nice deck on it where you can hang out and wait for the next person. Uh oh, this duck wants uh, something to eat from us, I think. Yeah, looks like there's a trailhead. It's a, well, it says camping. Huh? Driftwood. This is Flagstaff Lake. We're, we've been walking past for the last several minutes. Last few days we've had some a lot of climbing, a lot of rocks. But they tell me we've passed our last 4,000 foot mountain and the terrain has leveled out quite a bit. We're going to be shooting for about 17 or 18 miles today. And if the terrain stays like this, that might not be a problem. So it's kind of a relief. You do need some breaks from constant climbing and descending. And it looks like today's our relief day. Oh, there's a few hikers going for a swim, man. <laughs> the air's kind of cool, but I think the water's warm. They're making the most of it. Good for them. So I would pick the most difficult way. Why not? Uh, it's been a while since I've had a day where I, everything hurts. Uh, not everything, but my feet. I got calluses under there. They hurt. My hamstrings talking to me. Um, everything's kind of. I just need a break. I need a. Uh, I need a zero. But tomorrow, we'll do. Oh, it just hit my elbow against that rock. That was nice. Tomorrow we'll do a Nero, 
and then take a zero in Caratonk, and I need it. I need it pretty bad. I'm glad we have an easy day today without a lot of rock climbing. Gotta take those breaks. You make it through some of the hardest parts of Maine, and then you're rewarded with this. Look at this. Just, ah, oh, this is as smooth and easy as it gets, except for the mosquito on my arm. But other than that, it's fine. Mikey, what are you eating? Bagel. Where did you put that bagel before you went swimming? Under my shoe. <laughs> Let me see your shoe. How many Anything? miles is in that shoe? A couple hundred. Terror. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey. It's near the end of the day. Uh, I think we'll end up doing 17 or 18 miles today. And talking to the, the rest of the group and other northbound hikers, everybody's tired. We're just tired. I know I am. I, I just feel like I'm dragging today. And it's funny because I'm just not feeling the energy, but I'm still going to do 17 or 18 miles today, so making progress and beautiful weather. It's just been hard. I need a zero. haven't had a real rest day in a while, so we'll take care of that when we get to Caratunk. I think we got about five or six more miles to do tomorrow to get there, and that'll be a much needed break for everybody.